New at 11 now, ultrasonic sound could be the solution to clearing Florida's water of harmful algae blooms. Yeah, Brevard County just got thousands of dollars to see if it'll work in the Sykes Creek Canal. And if you're not familiar with that area, the waterway is in Merritt Island between the Indian and Banana Rivers. New 6 Troy Campbell is speaking with experts about how this game-changing technology works. Dolphins and storks swimming near Sykes Creek on Merritt Island. It's not only just the fishing, it's the recreation and it's a lifestyle. Longtime resident Richard Moncarelli says his love for the wildlife is the reason he no longer frequently takes out his catamaran on the Indian River Lagoon. He says he's seen firsthand the effects of toxic algae blooms. What is it like to come across a dead manatee? Oh, it's just heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. All opposed nay. Consent, consent agenda passes. On Wednesday, the Brevard County Commission approved a grant from the Florida Department of Environmental Protection to use new innovative ultrasound and monitoring technology developed by LG Sonic near Sykes Creek. With our treatment, it's different. We don't use chemicals. So um, our ultrasound, it naturally lets the algae die off in a sense that it's healthy for the environment. Jacob Yodzik is a lifetime Floridian and says LG Sonic's goal is to use ultrasound and sonic wave technology to create a barrier between algae and the surface of the water. That way the algae can't get to the surface of the water, which is required in order for it to reach the sun rays and then continue to grow. He says there's also a monitoring system in place, which allows for them to get an update every 30 minutes regarding how effective the sonic waves are. No matter what, there's, there's algae levels on a good day and a bad day. Um, it's just certain levels are what you're trying to meet and you want to stay within that threshold. Muccarelli says he hopes to see an improvement in the water. This w wanders in and out of a whole bunch of subdivisions here. Everybody has a canal behind their house, right? And everybody depends on this for their recreation. In Brevard County, Troy Campbell getting results new six. This is just the latest method Brevard County is using to clean up algae. Late last year, leaders parked a big barge in the Indian River Lagoon yeah. to suck up harmful algae. Learn more about this initiative right now in the forecasting change section of clickorlando.com.